Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing today? Thanks for coming back to the channel. And, wow, am I nervous about today's movie. The, uh, we've kind of watched horror before, but according to my son, this is, uh, horror horror. We're watching The Shining from 1980. Uh, Mr. Google says it is a horror slash mystery. So I like the mystery part. We'll see how much horror, because the last one was kind of horror -y. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was like, okay, it was more, you know, like psychological thriller is what I would have called Silence of the Lambs. But my son says this is full on horror. We'll see how it goes. Don't forget about my my Patreon below. Um, I really love my Patreon members. They really do help me out. And we're trying to get enough money to help me build a computer because uh, it takes a lot of processing power to do this. So it goes towards a good cause. It really does. Making more of these for you. That's about it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Don't forget to subscribe. Only awesome people subscribe. But I believe in you. And I think you're awesome, so click the button. Okay, let's get started. What have I got myself into? I don't know. I'm not a horror fan, I know that. <laughs> oh, this beginning music is really interesting. I know nothing about this movie. And my son refused to tell me anything. This music is ominous. Oh wow, look at the mountains. Is this in the Rockies? Or is this up in, like, Canada or something like that? A Stanley Kubrick. Kubrick? Kubrick? Jack Nicholson. The Shining. What is The Shining? They're going into a desolate place, I'll tell you that. If they've got this one road, that's the only way to get there and back. Oh, it's a Stephen King! How have I not read this? I mean, I'm not a big horror fan, so... Probably, that's why I was told it was horror. Look at this freaking place. Holy cow. The interview. Have any trouble finding this? Oh, no problem at all. I made the trip in three and a half hours. Wow, that's a very good sign. A bit of a drive, three and a half hours. Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Live in the hotel for the winter. So, like a caretaker? What about Tony? He's looking forward to the hotel, I bet. Tony, it's a torch. Oh, okay. So his little finger friend. Jack is uh, going to take care of the overlook for us this winter. I'm a writer. Our people in Denver recommended Jack. Okay, very so it's definitely Once Rocky Mountains. Our season here runs from uh, May 15th to October 30th. Okay. Then we close down completely until the following May. It's a 25 mile stretch of road. It gets an average of 20 feet of snow during. 20 feet. The only thing that can get a bit trying up here during the winter is uh, the tremendous sense of isolation. Yeah, I bet. For some people, uh, solitude and isolation can of itself become a problem. Boy, we saw that during COVID. I don't want to sound melodramatic, but it's something that's been known to give a few people second thoughts about the job. I'm intrigued. Uh, my predecessor and hired a man named Charles Grady is the winter caretaker. And he came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. Okay. During the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He killed his family with an axe. Okay. Stacked them neatly in one of the rooms of the West Wing and put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Oh, that's not good. I'd be out. I'd be like, nope. Sorry. Oh, look at Dopey on the wall. Do you think Dad'll get the job? He already did. He's gonna phone Wendy up in a few minutes to tell her. What? Um, that's creepy. Tony, why don't you wanna go to the hotel? No, come on, tell me. No, I'm Tony, tell me. Uh... What is that? Is that supposed to represent blood coming out of the elevators? Ah, who are those people? Ah, that was creepy. I'm not gonna like this movie, I can tell already. And then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while. And what kind of injury? Uh, he dislocated his shoulder. My husband had, uh... Oh, 
been drinking and grab his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. Uh, he yanked way too hard. Used too much strength and he injured Danny's arm. Wendy, I'm never going to touch another drop. He hasn't had any alcohol in the five months. Closing day. I don't like this, man. Abusive parent. I mean, the alcohol was a problem, but so it's nice that he stopped doing that. I don't like big crowds, but I like people <laughs> compared to no people. Whoa, look at the fireplace! Dang! Playing darts. Back when darts were sharp. What does he see? Um, hello, little girls. Okay. Okay, they're kind of creepy. This is our famous hedge maze. Hedge maze. The walls are 13 feet high, and the hedge is about as old as the hotel itself. Wow. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground, and I believe they actually had to repel a few Indian attacks as they were building it. Um, that's not good. Because basically, the snowcat operates very much like a car. A snowcat. We always remove all the booze from the premises when we shut down. This is Dick Halloran, our head chef. Okay, so they remove all alcohol. From the premises. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouth. Really? She called it shiny. The shining, okay. Mr. Halloran, are you scared of this place? Yeah. You know, Doc, when something happens, it can leave a trace of itself. See, this is why I never would have accepted the job. I agree. Sometimes bad things leave traces behind. I don't want to be stuck in those places for the entire winter. No, thank you. What about room 237? Whoa. He just pulled that out of nowhere. Yeah, what's room 237? You're scared of room 237, ain't you? What is in room 237? Yeah. There ain't nothing in room 237. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway. So stay out. That's some creepy stuff, man. A month later, that's we jump a month forward. There's no snow yet. They wasted a whole month, no snow. They could have stayed open a whole nother month. Do you know what it would cost to heat that place? Holy crap, with all those windows. Oh, big wheel. I love big wheels. Man, do I have some stories about with big wheels when I was a kid, holy cow. I used to love my big wheels. I went through three or four of them. I'd wear the tires out in them. He's got a long tongue. When I came up here for my interview, it was as though I'd been here before. We all have moments of deja vu, but this was ridiculous. It was almost as though I knew what was going to be around every corner. Really? Oh, writer's block. I know what that's about. I've written a couple of novels. Never finished them. I've gotten long ways into them, but never finished them. Boy, that's a fun place to play ball, though. Yeah, that's a good little workout there. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, are they going to go into the, the thing? Yeah, they are. Okay, so that's how the maze looks. Okay, so the way to get in and out of a maze... Is you stick your hand on either the left side or the right side. And you never remove your hand from that side. And basically you'll find your way out, always. Might take you a while, but you always find your way out. Oh, here's the maze place. That's cool, they have a little scale model. Tuesday, okay. We've gone from one month later to Tuesday. Snowing and cold and it's moving. Okay, so the snow is coming. Very bright carpet. Holy cow, bright. Red and brown and orange. Nope. Oh, if that's the one, keep going, buddy. Nope. Just keep on going. Just go. 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 Good. It's locked. What? What's with the weird twin girls? I'm assuming the connection is that was their room where their mother, their father went and whack a job. Oh, he's typing. That's good. I wonder how long it took him to get out of the maze. Hey, the weather forecast said it's going to snow tonight. She's very positive. Don't be so grouchy. I'm not. 
being grouchy. I just want to finish my work. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? He's already falling apart, man. And we're only a month and a couple of days. You don't hear me typing with the fuck you hear me doing in here when i'm in here that means that i am working that means don't come in think you can handle that what a douche why don't you start right now and get the fuck out of here god what a dick she just should grab the kid in the car and see you later we'll be in denver have fun up here by yourself okay so it's two days later thursday oh we got snow I wouldn't leave that snow t thing out there like that. I'd put it back... They had it in, like, a garage. Oh, he's already losing it. Holy crap. He's already crazy looking. We're, like, 40 minutes into this. There's still, like, an hour and a half. Saturday. Okay, so we start Tuesday, then Thursday. This We're skipping two days ahead. He's got a big old fire going, but he's gonna run through that wood fast. Creepy girls. Hello, Danny. They're talking now. Come play with us. Oh, how are you ghostly people? Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. Don't ever. Nope, don't need to see that. Nope. Bunch of cut up children. Is it done with? Okay, it's done with. Yeah. My son said this was horror. There was a bunch of bloody children chopped up with an axe laying on the floor. Don't like this. Tony, I'm scared. Remember what Mr. Halloran said? It's just like pictures in a book, Candy. Okay. It isn't real. Oh, good. It's not real. It's like pictures in a book. Okay. I'll try and tell myself that. That's helpful. This is a great shot. With a mirror? Your dad's creepy, Danny. I bet this poor kid is just mortified for the rest of his entire life after doing this movie. Then why don't you go to sleep? I can't. I got too much to do. He's got insomnia. Wednesday. Okay. There's a lot more snow. I think this was more than a couple of days later. There you go. Got a little road system there. Where'd the ball come from? Uh, where'd the ball come from? Is that his dad's ball? His dad's tennis ball? He's always wearing these little sweaters. They look like they're hand done. Mom! I don't think it was mom. Oh no! Is the door open to 237? Ah! Where'd the key come from? Mom, are you in there? I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't like this. I really don't. Oh, she's down. She's doing most of the work. She's checking on the boilers and everything. Yeah. What is that? Is Danny, he what happened beat to up? Nick? Danny, what happened to your neck? So now she thinks he's been beating on the kid. You did this to him. Mm. Didn't you? Nope. How could you? I mean, there's the problem is there's nobody else there. So she's got nobody else to blame. Yeah, I would have gotten out of there. I would have taken the snow cat and gotten the heck out of there. Yeah. There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. What? She tried to strangle Danny. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> no. He went up into one of the bedrooms. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. Which room was it? Oh. Shouldn't have gone in 237. Okay. A very green bathroom. Green toilet. Green sinks. Two sinks. Wow. Fancy. And a tub. Um, is there a woman in the tub? Oh, a very naked woman in the tub. What are you smiling about? Supposedly this woman strangled your kid. Okay, he's crazy. Is he seeing this? Is this actually happening? Very beautiful woman. Is he gonna say something? Like, what is going on? 
I do not like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. What is this thing? Oh gosh, what is he doing? This is fake, right? This is all fake. He's just making this up in his brain. He's really squishing his nose against her. Oh my god! 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 I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. No, no, I'm not watching it. No, 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 no. Okay, is it done? Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No, I don't want to see it. Nope. Okay, nope. We're done. Nope, we're done. Okay, that was, nope, that was a big nope, 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 <laughs> no, nope, that was too much horror for me, that was, that was a big no, too many mental, nope, nuh-uh, nope, 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 okay, nope, not doing, not gonna do it, I'm sorry, I couldn't get through it. I got through as much as I could. That was nothing like the Silence of the Lambs at all. Okay. Anyways, that was fun. Subscribe and like and stuff like that. I'm I'm going to go someplace else around people and be with them. <laughs> Until next time. You are awesome. That movie was not. <laughs> No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Thank you, everybody.